so right let me proceed to next question uh, so f of z is equal to u x uh, they given okay so f of z is equal to u x comma y plus i into v x comma y they given that uh, c is equal to z x plus i y and x and y are real numbers uh, i is root of minus 1 be a set of complex numbers i hope it's fine now they given u and v also u function and v function which is function of x comma y that is also given to you now the question is uh, uh, f if f dash of z denotes the derivative then f of z is uh, derivative of f of z then they have given the options let me give you the options right these are the options which is mentioned okay so they are asking uh, 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 what will happen like they have given some data and they are asking the which one is correct okay so how can i solve this see this is very basic question but if you see the question it might feel you might feel it very difficult why i am saying very basic question listen this is something which we know very well uh, from even when we are doing millet thompson method i have explained about this f of z is equal to suppose if i take f of z is equal to u plus i into v if i differentiate on both side with x partially partially if i differentiate on both side with x here what will happen f dash of z f dash of z means what differentiating f of z with z since i am differentiating f of z with z i need to differentiate that z again partially don't forget it partially with x y partially because z is a function of both x and y right we already know z is a function of both x and y so i need to differentiate partially with x that's equal to what will happen to u simple do u by do x plus i into do v by do x because i am differentiating with with respect to x you can do the same thing with respect to y also answer won't vary there don't there won't be that much change but it is convenient for me to do with x y because uh, here if i differentiate z okay if i differentiate z with respect to x what will happen partially differentiating z with respect to x i will get simply 1 if i differentiate z partially with y i will get my i, I will get i okay so in order not to bring this comp uh, this thing into the problems i am doing it this is one way of understanding it there is one more way by which this uh, equation is true which means uh, there is another way in which i can prove this from the basic of uh, what is that uh, limits but anyways we don't need proofs right here we don't need proofs at all so do z by do x anyways it will become 1 so i can just remove it so f dash of z will be equal to do u by do x this is my u so differentiate u partially with x if i do that partially so this will become y cube and uh, this will become minus uh, differentiation of x will become 3x square so y into 3 times of x square okay plus i uh, what is differentiation of this is v i'm sorry this is v seems to be u but it is v okay so if i differentiate v with respect to x, x partially so this will become 4 uh, uh, times of x cube okay by 4 y is differentiation is anyways zero and this will become minus 3 by 2 is anyways there multiplied by differentiation of x x square is 2x and there is one more y square okay now proceeding further y cube minus 3 x square y okay plus i into here 4 and 4 will get cancelled so it become x cube minus 2 and 2 again this 2 will get cancelled this become 3 x y square so this is our f dash of z i hope there won't be any confusion until now but they are asking f dash of uh, minus 1 plus i okay minus 1 plus i in the sense what x plus i y right so in this by comparing this okay by comparing this two i can simply write x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 1 okay coefficient of i is 1 right coefficient of i is 1 so substitute uh, that is if i want to find in place of z Okay, in place of z, if I want to substitute minus one plus i, okay, f dash minus one plus i will be equal to. In place of x, you substitute minus one. In place of y, you substitute one. Okay, so one minus three times of uh, one minus one square that will become one, and there was one more one plus i into minus one cube that will be minus one minus three into minus one into one square which is also one. So one minus three, uh, that's going to be two, plus i into uh, this is minus one. This minus minus gets cancelled; it becomes uh, plus three. So three minus one will be two again. Okay. So this is simply two plus. Um, uh, I'm sorry, this is minus two, right? 
1 minus 3 this is minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 plus i okay so that is my f dash of uh, 1 plus i but what they are asking they are asking modulus of f dash of uh, mod sorry minus 1 minus two. yeah modulus of minus 1 plus i that if i want to find out modulus okay if i want to find out modulus what i should do for finding out modulus root of x square plus y square so this is our uh, uh, real component this is our imaginary so minus 2 square plus 2 square that is nothing but root of this is 4 this is 4 so that's going to be 8 okay now they are not asking modulus of f dash they are asking modulus of f dash of minus 1 plus i so they are asking whole square so if i take square on both sides this will become f dash sorry f dash of minus 1 plus i whole square which is equal to 8 so this is our f dash okay so which is correct answer then f dash that is that is our final answer so our correct answer was option c so let us uh, uh, proceed and discuss this is one of the very good question okay basically we can classify this question to be an integral uh, calculus question or numerical method question but one thing you need to understand same type of question has been already asked in previous year xc similar type not exactly same but similar type by using quadrature rule similar type of question and same type of question was there in our xc test series also okay so those who done previous year XC question or those who done our test series or any any one or both surely they would have answered this correctly anyways let me discuss it okay so that uh, you will understand okay I guess in um, in the previous year question they given the polynomial degree as 2 if my memory is not wrong but in this case they given the polynomial uh, that is this particular equation so first let me go through the question okay if the quadrature rule Okay, this is this is the rule okay and this will be true and also they said that alpha beta and gamma are the true constant so this will be true that is this particular equation is exact okay this particular equation is true or this particular equation is exact for all polynomial is a crucial thing okay for all polynomial of degree less than or equal to 3 same question same type of question was there in previous year was there in our test series okay let me start and they are asking us to find out summation of this is equal to what that is what they are asking simple question just listen first we need to understand what does it mean it means this equation okay this equation will be true this equation that is the equation which they given okay the equation which they given this equation will be true for all polynomial of degree less than or equal to 3 polynomial of degree less than or equal to 3 means what x to the power of 1 x to the power of 2 x to the power of 0 x to the power of 3 you take any combination of polynomial you simply take x that is also a polynomial which is having degree less than or equal to 3 you take x square that is also a polynomial which is having degree less than or equal to 3 you take 1 okay 1 into x naught right x to the power of 0 that is also a polynomial which is having degree less than or equal to 3 or you take x square plus 2x this is also a polynomial which is having degree less than or equal to 3 so you take any polynomial as you wish as you wish you take any polynomial which is having degree less than or equal to 3 will satisfy this equation that is what uh, they given okay so uh, you have to understand something this is a very simple question but i hope that those who have not uh, understood this question previous year question this particular previous this is also a previous year question so they have not understood the previous year question properly they cannot solve it they cannot solve it, I am damn sure. But anyways, those who have gone through the previous year question, they can easily solve it or even our test series, they would have easily solved it. Okay. So, first let me start. Take any example, which means first, okay, I will do one thing. Take f of x to be as you wish, you take anything, but that polynomial has to be have a degree less than or equal to 3. That is it because they given all, right? All polynomial will satisfy. Okay. All polynomial will satisfy this formula. Okay, so you take any formula. Let me take f of x equal to 1. 1 is also a polynomial. Okay, 1 is also a polynomial which is having 1 into x naught, x naught, right? So that is also, I can take it as a polynomial. So what will be my integration of f of x dx? f of x is what? 1, right? 1 dx. And the upper limit, lower limit is 1, and upper limit is, uh, sorry, lower limit is minus 1, upper limit is 1. Uh, differentiation of dx, 
will be x upper limit is 1 lower limit is minus 1 which is equal to what upper limit 1 minus of minus 1 will become 2 and this is equal to what this is equal to they given right from this formula from this formula f of alpha what is f of alpha wherever x is there okay wherever f of uh, f of x means f of alpha in the sense f of alpha in the sense wherever x is there replace it with alpha but in the first example which i taken the first example which i taken there is no x there is no x which means same only i will get f of alpha will be equal to f of x okay f of alpha will be equal to f of x itself that is equal to 1 similarly what will become f of beta that is also 1 only because there is no x right so uh, the function will be always 1 only okay so plus gamma into 1 so directly if i bring this one this side this will become uh, 2 minus 1 1 so gamma will be equal to 1 we got gamma okay so we got gamma now go for any other polynomial as you wish i will go for uh, x okay i will simply take x okay if i take x what will happen integration of x dx x square by 2 upper limit is uh, 1 and lower limit is minus 1 that will be equal to 1 square by 2 which is 1 by 2 minus of minus 1 square is also 1 by 2 so this becomes 0 and 0 will be equal to what what is f of alpha now what is f of alpha what is f of alpha wherever x is there replace it with alpha okay so alpha plus gamma into what is f of beta wherever x is there replace it with beta okay beta so gamma is how much we already found gamma is 1 so we already found gamma is 1 so what i can conclude from this i can conclude alpha is equal to minus beta okay right so i hope uh, until this there is no confusion so now third i will take x square okay i will take x square so what is differentiation of our integration of x square it is x cube by 3 and uh, upper limit is 1 lower limit is minus 1 so again 1 by 3 but now minus 1 cube will be minus 1 itself so it will become plus 1 by 3 so that will be 2 by 3 and that is equal to what in place of for finding out f of alpha in place of x in place of x you replace with alpha so this becomes alpha square and uh, ga gamma is already 1 and in place of beta sorry in place of x again replace it with beta so this uh, this uh, x square will become beta square so now from this alpha square plus beta square is equal to 2 by 3 we can do one thing what you can do i can substitute this alpha is equal to minus beta here and then i can find out alpha and beta or else or we can do the same thing there is no issue so if i substitute alpha is equal to beta here what will happen alpha is equal to minus beta this becomes alpha square plus uh, beta square um, uh, beta square that is in place of beta i am substituting minus alpha okay in place of beta i am substituting minus alpha so that will become anyways minus will go because i am squaring it okay so this will become 2 alpha square will be equal to 2 by 3 so i can cancel 2 and 2 or else let me do one thing i am not i don't want to do this step unnecessarily why why you will understand okay let me take one more example i will take f of x is equal to what x cube if i do that integration of x cube dx is what integration of x cube dx is what x power 4 by 4 right x power 4 by 4 upper limit is 1 lower limit is minus 1 so it will become 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 which is 0 which is equal to what in place of alpha uh, in place of x you substitute alpha so alpha cube plus 1 into beta cube so now i got all the terms which is required for me okay just go back and see the question we need gamma okay what is gamma gamma is 1 plus 3 times of alpha square plus beta what is alpha square plus beta 2 by 3 okay and alpha q plus beta that is 0 that's it okay so that's going to be equal to 3 3 will get cancelled 1 plus 2 that becomes 3 very simple question but you should have gone through this question before itself because directly if you try to solve this question in exam you might have not that is the logic might have not strike in your head but if you have already gone through the previous equation or test series you would have easily able to attend this